Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Laguna Seca. So what I've done is over the last couple of days, created another AIW file for this track, uh, being as it's the, the IMSA Laguna Seca race coming up at the towards the end of September on the 21st, I thought it'd be a good time to pop this out so everybody can start having some races here with some decent AI. So let's get this underway. Hopefully you can see the improvements that I've made, especially through the corkscrew. Um, I've run a qualifier where I placed fifth. I'm going to use the Aston uh, Martin GT3 car for this one. Uh, 20 cars. Uh, let's see how we go. Shocking start. So I'm running real weather as usual. Um, I've got the cars cranked up on this one as well. Probably uh, doesn't seem to matter what kind of lines I take uh, through here. There's really, really is a bit of a limit to what the cars can do here, I've found. So I've got them cranked up to 115 skill and my typical 66 uh, aggression and 40 limiter. Um, and the cars are hitting, some of the cars are hitting the low 122s. I've uh, created a blocking line um, as well as the fastest line here and adjusted the pits as well. Um, all the cars seem to be pretty, pretty decent here. Now this is the Simcoe version of Laguna Seca, so it's the DirectX 11 version. Um, Cinnamon released his 1.02 update back in March um, on International Racing, um, International Sim Racing Forum. So what I might do is make sure that this file also works with that version of the track. Um, and I've, I've messaged Cinnamon, so hopefully um, he'll be up for repackaging his version as well. Uh, if not, I'll just link the AIW file anyway. Um, I will put the link to the full track um, for this version because I honestly don't know where I got this from. I thought I got this from uh, International uh, Sim Racing Forum, but I can't find the post anymore. So I don't know if it's been taken down or not, but I'll repost this file in its entirety. So as you can see, we've done a lap now, um, and the AI um, are successfully making it through the corkscrew. Um, when you race there, Previously, there'd be there wouldn't be a lap where they wouldn't lose it on the actual downside of the corkscrew um, halfway through the corner. Now the, the issue that I found um, while doing this, I've been testing this with the GTEs and the GT3s, uh, is that the BMW M6 GT3. Um, I think there's actually something wrong with the the build, the latest build of that car. Um, the AI setup is, it's its almost like if you've ever watched V8 Supercars and you've seen one of the cars get a broken um, rear suspension linkage or you know like if you if you see just a typical road car and its shocks are dead, um, it'll just continue to bounce and that's what the BMW looks like all the way around this track. Uh, and then the, when, they, when they enter the top of the corkscrew, because you're braking on an angle, you're braking to the right to turn into the left, the the rear just lifts and, and it spins the car. Now I've got it to a point where they, they pretty much do make it through, but they won't be they won't be competitive with the rest of the pack. Now I've fed this back to Chris Elliott to see if it's a known issue with the car or if they haven't seen it before or if anyone's raised it before. Um, and I've offered to send some video footage too, but you might even see it in the replay. Oh, so I clip the inside there. Laguna Seca is one of my um, Seca is one of my favourite all-time tracks. I just love the layout. I love the undulations, the elevation change. It's absolutely brilliant. And then, of course, there's the corkscrew. And this is probably the most difficult corner on the track, just there. Up to Rahal Straight, and then into the corkscrew. So this is the section here where the BMWs really struggle. Get the car off balance there. And they're fine, they're fine through the actual corkscrew itself. It's just the entry to it. The Laguna Seca has been around since 1957. Um, three kind of major changes to the track over the years. The first major change, well, overall change to the circuit was in 1988 when it took on the 
kind of layout that we see today. Um, before that, it was uh, kind of a traditional, just a square circuit, always anti-clockwise. Um, And then in 19, I think it was 90, oh, someone's going to correct me here, 96 or 98, I think it was 96, um, they extended, oh, he's having a crack, that aggression, that AMG, come on, oh, we're going to get him up the hill, he had to lift, so did I. So yeah, back in, I think it was 96, they um, they changed the layout a little bit by extending the straight between turn 9 and 10. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shortening this straight here. So between turns 9 and 10, this was shortened. Exactly the same layout though, just shorten that, which in effect lengthened the straight. Used to terminate about there. So we've had that since about 96. I think it was 96. It could have been 98. So yeah, one of my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's made a mistake there. Wow, really struggling. You want to get an idea of how hard it is to actually run a lap around this track there's a an awesome video on youtube of a mclaren p1 gtr having a crack through here and the thing just moves all over the place and trying to get traction in that car looked like it was absolutely insane there's a fantastic uh imza uh lap as well on tour of the circuit which is pretty cool and the driver, I can't remember who it was, but the driver goes into the different ways of taking uh, Andretti. Which I thought was pretty interesting. Two main ways of taking it. Um, basically hit both of the apexes. Um, I guess that's kind of a blocking line. And it's what I've based my uh, blocking line on for the AI here. And then the other way, of course, is to come out wide on the first turn and then clip the apex of the second part of the corner a little bit better not what I was doing just then someone's taken out the uh, one marker there it's definitely a circuit that once you do uh, use all of it that's for sure Should have really had a crack at it in the Corvette, shouldn't I? Still in fourth, and how long that's going to last, though? Horrible, horrible. Got an old mate there. So yeah, I should probably go through what I've done. So I've created a fastest line, a blocking line, and oh, and new pit entry and exits for both, obviously. So we're different to the previous lines. Be able to show you the blocking line now. So there's a blocking line here.
I didn't uh, I didn't make a blocking line for the corkscrew because what I didn't want to do is cause uh, an accident here during a race for anybody. So there's no blocking line there. There is a blocking line for the last corner. So there's a blocking line here. The car will stay on the left hand side here and block into the final corner. There's a blocking line here immediately. The car will move over to block you here like this. Uh, and then hold this line all the way through. It'll join back onto the racing line here. And then it will move and dart uh, back into guard the inside corner here and take both apexes like that. There's a blocking line here as well for this corner. Basically, we'll just guard the inside a little bit more. And there is a blocking line for this corner too. So it'll dart in. Block that, guard that corner there. And then we're back to the original block that I was talking about. So it'll move out here to stop and then move back onto the line. And not do that, so now I've lost two places. You can also see when you race the GT3s here within the rail line that how each of the different types of layouts of vehicle behave here. Um, circuit really seems to suit the mid-engine layout and we're across the line there we go so fourth to sixth or fifth to sixth hopefully you guys enjoy that hopefully you can see that it's um it's a little bit better racing line now um a couple of accidents have happened around the place though at least it wasn't every single corkscrew um if you did enjoy it uh, please give me a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll be sure to all upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.